So as promised, here's a review of my new cooker. My new Canon by Hotpoint, no less. Oh look, there's a reflection of me. Oh look, there's my missus gardening shoes. <laughs> well, they work. Uh, and it's raining, by the way. Just if you're interested, or if you're not interested. Start at the top then. That's the top, look. There's the glass, there's the top. These are big, heavy cast iron things. And in two two pieces burners are normal first thing we bought it we went to curry's and they hadn't got one in stock so we bought it anyway and we chose the black one we didn't know it's a matte black finish but we're not bothered about that we'll see how it goes in service as to whether there's a bit mucky there look but we'll, we'll see how it goes in time it should be okay we keep it nice and clean we normally keep it nice and clean but you can't see that without the light on that's strange uh, three normal burners and then this big thing uh, and I'll light it let's see if I can light it properly in rehearsals I didn't oh <laughs> wrong one that, and I did rehearse as well wrong knob look right let's try the right knob there we go turn it on leave it for a bit hey notice there's burners in the middle look so not just round the outside, it burns in the middle. Impressive, that is. Hey, great. Well, we did advise us that we're too close to the fridge freezer, but that's our fault, not his. Um, everything okay. We don't have a full programmer. We have a minute minder, but that's okay. The downside, there is one downside that we didn't notice because we didn't uh, view it. These, I'm not sure on the video, these rings around here... Come on, focus. I think it's confused because of the finish. There we go. These rings are actually gold. And they've got black figures on them for the dial. And it, it's hard to see the dials. If I turn this on as well. Now, hang on. I don't... Ah. Start again, you idiot. Right. The cooker, the oven, the main oven is different. All these you push, as you normally do, you push them in to turn them same with the grill but the main oven you don't you just turn it because it works on oh look the light comes on and it works on electronic ignition now it's ignited and that's all you do you leave it and what happens is when it gets up to temperature that light goes off and the gas goes off it switches the burner off until the the temperature drops a little bit and then it comes back on again and the light comes back on it's weird you think it's failed but it's not actually what happened was the bloke when he fitted it he put it in and he put the ovens on and he said let them burn for a bit because they'll smell so we did and he went out and got in his van and that light went off and the gas went off and i thought blimey it's broke already and i nearly run out to fetch him to say come on you've made the right mess of this and just as I was going to do that, it switched back on again. And I twigged it. But obviously I hadn't read the instructions by then. But you should turn it, you see. You can hardly read the the figures. So, but that's a... That's, I'm going to call that a bad design because, you know, we're getting on and the older you get, the harder it is. Um, so here's the front. Strange, isn't it? You'd never have guessed that. If I had just said that was the front... You'd have never guessed, but it is. Um, first of all, let's go down here to the hinges, which were the hinges and the, the door catch, which was the problem with uh, my other video, and watch my other video. But the first thing we noticed is the catch is there. It's a plastic moulding with a, a thing under there. And also down here is a support for the door. So that seems to me to be a better idea. And I think... Under there, the hinges look very, very similar. So, but I'm 65 years old. If this goes for 10 years, I'll be 75 years old. I ain't going to get under here and repair this one. If this one goes wrong in 10 years' time, it's going in the bin. I'll probably be in the bin by then anyway. The grill, lovely big oven grill. And these are the same as the old one. We haven't changed that much. I think you flick them over and that'll come out like, like I showed on the other one. 
So, uh, so yeah. Oh, and the other thing is, they give you some work to do. All these supports and this comes in a separate bag, and he says you just wash them in soapy water before you use them. Fair enough. But these side bits come in it as well. You have to put them in yourself, which is not bad. I mean, he's not complaining, but you just do. It just it was a, a bit strange. I wasn't expecting that. And the same in here as well. Same in here. These on the side. We had to uh, had to put them in myself. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, what else can I tell you? It works. It's okay. Oh, there's a button there for the light. Um, yeah. Oh, hang on. Come on, focus. That's better. What was I just saying? Uh, I've I've done this video a couple of times and I put some postscripts on, so I'll do these in one. Um, we said about the matte finish. The white one is not called white it's called inox or something and i'm not sure if that's matte or shiny but if you're after that make sure you see one before you buy it we didn't we bought this blind so it's all right though uh and what was the other thing i said oh yeah the other thing i said was um on top of the purchase price of what it is Corey's charged us 100 smackers to come and fit it and that involved the flexible pipe at the back, which lasts forever, apparently. Not like Calagas pipes, they have to change every five years. But this apparently this pipe lasts forever because the natural gas doesn't um, affect it. And the guy fitted that, and he also, before he done that, he checks the condition of all your other gas appliances. So the boiler, the gas fire, uh, he wanted to see the meter, and he checked the pressure at the meter before and after he fitted it. Which was all right. Now they, they were very helpful. They they didn't take my old one away because to recycle the old one would have cost me another twenty quid. But I did ask them if they'd put it in the garage, and to be fair, they did. They had to carry it up the steps, and they put it in the garage for me. Um, and on top of that, another twenty five quid for delivery. So it's twenty five quid to delivery, hundred quid to fit it. And you've got to have it done by then because it's gas safe. They've got to be gas safe, and you've got to get a certificate. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me or your insurance is kabosh um and then oh yeah the old one i put it on facebook marketplace and it attracted some less than desirable characters let's just say some right dodgy dealers who after your old cooker and god knows what they wanted to do with it um but so i took it off and i i just took it to pieces chucked it in the back of the volvo and took it down the tip and they were happy to take it down there so that is just about the end of the story, I think. And uh, hopefully this is going to last us many, many years.